What is the Higgs boson? Of the particle categories, one of them is bosons. Right. Okay. And bosons are force mitigating particles. Okay. Okay. So, and when we think of a force action at a distance, there's a way to think about that in terms of the particle that in the category of particles is a boson. One of the bosons is this Higgs boson, which has what properties? It's what endows other particles, even itself actually, with mass. Interesting. Now, where does, where does that come from? Well, just to take Neil's idea, it starts with the idea of a field. That's how you right. get rid of this idea of action at a distance. You imagine that space is filled with stuff. So it's this field that fills space, and as particles that otherwise would be massless, as they try to go through space, they have to burrow through the Higgs, the Higgs field. field. Okay. And that creates a kind of drag force on them which is what imparts the mass that they have. Okay. And that's the field. Now, what's the particle? Well, if you have this field in principle, if you hit it hard enough, like hitting the surface of water, you can cause little particles of the field to spray Glass out. out. Right. And that's what the Large Hadron Collider did. It slammed proton against proton, and that way jostled the Higgs field and caused a little droplet of it to break free, and that's the Higgs particle. And then we got the, oh my God, so you're seeing an actual piece of the field. Yes. You're, oh wait, my wait, wait, God. So, wait, so the Higgs field generated via equals MC squared, yes. right. its own particle of its own. That's amazing. Uh, that's right. Of it's its own, own DNA. Own or you can say it's a quanta, to go back to the other language, it's a quanta of the Higgs field, like the photon is the quanta well, of a, the electromagnetic field. field. Yes. All right, that's amazing. That's some stuff. So, okay, uh, if, okay, but, okay, now I get it. So it's not the particle that you're actually seeing. It's not the particle that is imbued with mass itself. It is the thing on which the particle is traveling, the field, the medium itself. Right. Boom, it kind of splashes apart for a quick second, and then that itself becomes a particle and has mass. Yes. Holy yes. <laughs> Wait, so. So, you know, my That's amazing! Right, so you know, that is amazing! <laughs> Chuck just blew a gasket. Oh my God, that's crazy! Dude, that is insane! Call the doctors. This is the first time I've actually really understood. Call the doctors. That because, oh my God, that's so freaking crazy! Oh my God! A week later, he's there in bed still. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes this big. That Wait, is fantastic. So my favorite analog to this. Yeah is when I, when I explain the Higgs field to people, I say it's, it's like a, a, a Hollywood party, uh -huh. okay? So there are people in the party, right. all right? And the bar is at the back of the wall, okay? okay? And if, you, if no one knows you and you walk into this party- Okay, that's my experience. You, you have near zero resistance to movement through that party. True. So you have a, a very low, if not zero, party mass. Exactly. Okay? Because you have no- well, You no, get into the bar right away. You get in the bar right away. Right so away. your inertia, it knows no resistance there. Exactly. Whereas if Beyonce walks in, uh -huh. everybody will crowd around oh here. God. She can only make very small steps towards the bar. Right. She has a very high party mass. That's, is that fair? That's, that's awesome. It. That, that's the party field. The party field. And then if you slap all those party goers, <laughs> you can slap off <laughs> right. one of them. That's the party field. Somebody particle. from the beehive. Somebody from the beehive pops yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> party, party. Oh my God, I love Beyonce. You're like, oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, so I learned, not from you, and I'm disappointed because I thought you would have told me the whole story. Yes. I come to you for these frontier conversations that the Higgs mass that a particle would have mm -hmm. is only for free particles. If a particle is yes. in an atom, but I have, it's not I, getting its mass I from the Higgs field. I have told you this in the past, though. I absolutely have. I but, right. but, but, uh -oh. yeah. but you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. So, 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 so if I'm, I'm, I'm a fat proton yeah. in, a, in a nucleus, yeah. I'm not getting my mass from the Higgs field. No, and that's why it's a really misleading notion that many people have. They think that all mass comes from the Higgs field. It is just the fundamental particles. And here's the thing, if you were to go up into your particle data book, which I know you have a few copies lying yes, around it's, it's in here. Particle data. It's yeah. very good. <laughs> if you look up the masses of the quarks, the up quark and the down quark that make up a proton, up, up, and a down, add up their masses. He said they, that quickly. So up, up, and a down. The, the, the nucleons have right. three quarks right. in them all bound together 
making up the proton and the neutron, but they're different combinations of three quarks. Tell, this is this is good. Tell them. So quarks have charges, fractional charges. Yes. Right? So watch, watch, watch this. Okay. Watch this. So okay. proton has a charge of plus one. All right. How do you get that from three quarks? Yeah. How do you do that? So give me, give me, you, give it to you, me. You gotta have a two thirds and a two thirds and a minus one third. Two thirds, two thirds, minus one third. So two thirds, well, two thirds is one, one and a third, 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 and then a minus charge to bring it down. That's to one. What, now, look at that. now, neutrons have charged quarks inside of them, but they don't have any charge. So how do you get them? How do you get them? Let's hear it. Oh, it must be uh, up two thirds, down one third, down one third. Yeah. So if you have yeah. an up and then a down and a down down, then you an got a two, two thirds, thirds minus, minus one third minus, minus one, one third. Minus one third. Now canceling out, and so it's right. a neutral thing, even but, though what's inside of it has charges. Right. But here's the thing: the point I want to make, though, is if you add up the masses of those quarks, right, they're much less than the mass of the proton. So what's going on here? They make up the proton, and yet the proton is much heavier than its ingredients. Right. Answer is, there's another contribution to the mass, which has nothing to do with the Higgs field, which oh. is the thing oh. we were talking about before, the energy oh. in the glue oh, holding the, the quarks the together. Oh, the gluonic force. There's energy mm. holding them together equals mc squared. There's mass associated with that energy, and most of the mass of the proton is coming from the glue that's holding the quarks together. That's insane. So let's take a neutron, yeah. which has a half-life in minutes, like 15 minutes, yeah, if right. memory yeah. serves. Yeah. And after that amount of time, half the neutrons will have decayed uh, into a proton, and uh, if let's say if it's a regular proton, and then an electron, an electron, and an antineutrino, and an antineutrino. Right, yeah. If you add up the masses of those, yeah. don't you recover the mass of the proton? As long as you're taking kinetic energy into account oh, yes, and all this too, because they, yes, they fly away, fly oh. away. But, but yes, but yes. So the energy budget is all there. Oh, it's all there. Okay. Look at that. Well, okay. So everything is conserved. Yeah. yeah. All the time. And in fact. The way the neutrino was predicted was from looking at these particle decays and finding that the energy budget was not adding up. And so the idea was maybe there's an invisible particle that's carrying away some additional energy. Was this Enrico that, Fermi? Yes. So, so what I like about this that's is wild. he's like, look, folks, I can't explain this. Let's make some shit up. Yes. <laughs> but, but geniuses make up shit that's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a quote. That's, that's a quote. That, that's a bumper that's sticker it. right there. That's it. I'm getting a T-shirt. I'm getting that T-shirt. <laughs> that's awesome.